Come on in, everyone. Come on in. This is... Dosh TV. Elon Musk buys Twitter. And the world loses their shit. Let's play the video of when it was announced. Even a few days ago, it seemed Elon Musk's dream of owning Twitter was doomed to fail. Once again, the world's richest man has shown how dangerous it is to bet against him. In a statement confirming the takeover, Musk said, free speech is the bedrock of a functioning democracy, and Twitter is the digital town square where matters vital to the future of humanity are debated. I also want to make Twitter better than ever by enhancing the product with new features, making the algorithms open source to increase trust, defeating the spam bots, and authenticating all humans. Twitter has tremendous potential. I look forward to working with the company and the community of users to unlock it. Cargo Dragon takes flight. This is clearly a power move, and people are upset about this. First mate Prance at a uh, box top says Elon Musk spending 43 billion to stop getting bullied on Twitter when he could have simply been less annoying is insane. This guy, I just don't think Elon Musk is a good person. My Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus installed with the latest version of my Twitter. These people are mad. They're upset. Elon Musk buys Twitter for $44 billion while I'm looking for a house like I have $3. Now this guy's mad that Elon is wealthy. Yeah, like, how does one have $44 billion to spend on a bird app? Not million, but billion. This chick, I can think of a million other things I could spend $44 billion on, and the bird app isn't one of them. If you could, you'd have $44 billion. But anyway. Leaked image of Elon Musk buying Twitter for $44 billion. Oh, they're saying he's Big Bird. It, it trips me out for people to really be mad at this man for buying fucking Twitter. He wants to restore freedom of speech. He also has a fucking plan for Twitter. I've told you guys about quantum projects. I've told you guys about the, uh, the Facebook metaverse. Twitter has to also have a meta. The worlds have to unite. All the social media that will thrive in this new world order that Joe Biden stated need to be led by someone who understands AI technology. And if you know Elon Musk, you know he understands AI technology. Matter of fact, he embraces it. He's also warned against it. Suspended accounts coming back after Twitter takeover by Elon Musk. See, these people, they wanted your freedom of speech gone. But these are just the average American. It's just the average American. Let's look at our, polit our political elites. Pocahontas Elizabeth Warren says Elon Musk's purchase of Twitter is dangerous for our democracy. Oh, no. He owns another thing. You see, they want you to own nothing. They don't even want you to own freedom of speech. That's not just it. Oh, you want to read what she said? This is what she said. This deal is dangerous for our democracy. Billionaires like Elon Musk play by a different set of rules than everyone else, accumulating power for their own gain. We need a wealth tax and a strong rule to hold big tech accountable. Pocahontas, you've been in politics for far too long to be selling us hopes and dreams. Jen Saki, the press secretary, had this to say. Just a quick one on the, the breaking news, Twitter agreeing to let Elon Musk uh, purchase, make this, go through this purchase. Uh, do you have a response to that? And does the White House have any concern that this new agreement might have President Trump back on the platform? Well, I'm not going to comment on a specific transaction. Uh, what I can tell you as a general matter, no matter who owns or runs 
uh, Twitter, uh, the president has long been concerned about the power of large social media platforms, uh, what they have, the power they have over our everyday lives, has long argued that tech platforms must be held accountable for the harms they cause. Uh, he's been a strong supporter of fundamental re reforms to achieve that goal, including reforms to Section 230, enacting antitrust reforms, requiring more transparency. And Section 230. Now the Democrats care. Now the Democrats care about Section 230 when someone who wants freedom of speech owns something that they controlled for so long. Look at them squirming. They wanted to take your rights away, and they were doing it. And it, it's sad to say, but American citizens were allowing them to take everyone's rights away. There's a new world order happening. I don't know if you know about it, but the president, Joe Biden, stated it about a month ago. It's happening. It's better to prepare than not be prepared. But just because all you guys are tripping about one man buying Twitter, acting like it's the end of the world because you cannot control the narrative anymore, I have to give you all Trash Bag Tuesday. Welcome. You trash bag, bro. It's crazy.